Welcome to Virgin New York, round 12 of the Wynoa series, Greek Peak. And we are back with another double commentary with Jeremy. So, yeah, Greek Peak is in Virgin New York, like he just said. And we have got things changed around a little bit this race. I got to do GoPro Hero 3. Some shots of it right here. Now, I forgot to put my skeleton back door on there. So the sound's a little bit off. We got to figure it out somewhat, but it just doesn't sound the same, but we'll get it worked out. So. Now we got the Hero 2 on Jeremy, there's Jeremy right there, and then we got Ian over here getting an aerial shot, because he's like 10 feet tall. Yeah. You should see everything out there. But I figure let's just cut the crap and get the racing. So we'll start it off with you, Jeremy. Oh. Wait, maybe. Yep. yep, here we go. Wait, no, no. Yeah. Oh. Nope. oh my gosh. Oh, there okay, we go. here we go, so. A little bit of a wheelie, not the greatest start. <laughs> Well, then I'm coming around here and I got some issues, but Ian gets it all on camera, so I come around the corner and I clip Dakota and get smacked by that guy. Oh wow, I didn't even know you got hit by him. Yeah, he I got hit him right off his bike. No, he kicked me off my bike. Oh. We were getting some battles with Justin. There you go. Yeah, I get past him. Now I'm over here getting this situated, figuring out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we got going. Now I gotta do some catch up. Trying to find it and set up for the pass. Not rushing it, I mean. I get on the wrong side of the tape, got confused. I get passed by green numbers. Oh, there we go, so right here, this guy comes up and he, he falls over or something. So I get around him and I get around Ian. He gets a pretty good shot of that. Back to the pack. Sean up there with the flagging, pointing thing. But yeah, so. <laughs> All right, I gotta get past this guy now. He's kind of number. You got number plate. Yeah, he's got license plate. License plate, number plate. What am I saying? I don't know. So here, what's going on over here, Jeremy? Well, there's a huge bottleneck. They skipped us on the first part of the hill. Then this kid backs up into me and just looks at me like I'm dumb. I don't know what he's doing. Whoa. But yeah, and then we're just waiting. I started creeping forward a little bit. This guy, I was like, maybe I'll try this line. And then all of a sudden, people are going by me. I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I turn around. And then I, I come by over here. Well, I come up to the bottleneck and I'm kind of confused. And then these guys just come shooting out of the woods. So I'm like, well, follow them and see where we're going. So then here's my whole class just going right by me after like a seventh place hole shot or so. And I was like, all right, finally, let's go. So you get out of there. <laughs> and I was just angry. Now I'm in the middle of getting up Odyssey. This is a fun part. A lot of loose. Yeah, that was... That was not too much fun. All the roots, but definitely a fun hill to go up. As you can tell. Now this guy right here, trying to pass him and he shuts me out. So I just kind of, I know what's coming up here. We, we mountain biked this the day before, so I kind of knew what the track was like. And up here, he can't see nothing because it's so dusty. Well, I just kind of pin it and get right by him pretty fast. So I knew where the turns were, and then we're keeping up through the woods. We just cut out of the creepy pines over there. That was the section they were going to do, but they cut it out. I don't know why they cut it out, but this service road over here, get ripped down this and kind of drop down underneath lift two. I like this part. Fall into that rut. I cut back to Jeremy. You're kind of trying to get around this guy. Got around him. So I'm not that far behind you. I thought I was a lot farther. No, not really. I'm just coming down the glades and everything. People falling all over up here. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused and <coughs> trying to figure this out. I'll get a crash from Ian. He dumps it over in the woods. Now this is where things got a little interesting. These guys are stuck in this ravine up here. So I was going to try to go through and 
everything, and then that guy fell over. So I was like, I can't do that. So we got to take this trail down this ridge through all this really, really, really tight trees. It was so tight that it just, it was not, not a good time. I mean, look at, they're just all over. You can't fit. So this is just, I mean, it's a race. I'm, I'm killing times. Everybody's passing me. Ian gets by me. Everybody's passing me. And this is bad right here. This is a, a ditch. I mean, people are just totally nosediving into that thing. Now, the ditch is a little less up here, so I took that line. And then you got to come down. I've snowboarded this before. I think you have two with me. Yep. Coming down to Caster Connection. Now, you're over here trying to... <laughs> I took a little bit of a wider line and fell right into it, and I had a little bit of an injury. And that hurt. I injured myself riding a couple weeks, no, almost a month ago now. Yo, yo! Yeah, no. We won't talk about that. It's a more of a delicate spot, but ripping up caster. Fun spot, right there. Right, yeah, right, right there. Yo, 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 yo. Fun spot, yeah. Thank you very much. Right, caster. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I passed that person a bunch of times. I needed to. I felt bad passing my guy. I mean, this should not be a bottleneck. Yeah, and this is this should not be a problem right here. I mean, it's like a one foot ravine. It's like, come on, what are you doing? I don't know what people are thinking. I don't know. Somebody, somebody falls. And race is done. It's Ian. Oh, this is Ian. I I have the time wrong. This is Ian. So I, I come up behind Ian over here. Pass him. We're having a conversation out in the woods. People are just sliding off the side of the trail. It was pretty bad out there. Yeah, I didn't like it. Oh, I love this part. You jump right there and just full power through this mud section, keeping the pace up, keep the front end light and go. It's just and then, one of those whoa, things. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Slow down a little bit. You had to. I needed to really power on to get the front end up again. Is what I should have done. Held on and just kept going, but. Whatever, so I'm trying to pass. I think that's Ethan Styles over there. Some whoops. Oh, here's you. Singing. I'm singing because Adam told me that this race was pretty much he went up the ski slopes and he came back down the woods and that there was no mud. Well, there was a few muddy sections and there was a lot of uphills. And here we go. First this one. Well, oh, second me. one, actually. Yeah, second hill. No, this is... Still the first hill. Well, yeah, not really. The first, the first hill was the beginning. Yeah, so this is the second hill on the track. I had done this before, so I kind of knew the right line up it and just where to go. So I held on to that. I had some issues the year before this hill. So I knew what I was doing. Now, you, on the other hand, did not have the best time. No, you could take I had over a horrible now. line. And I thought this kid was going to go ahead of me. He just looked. That's, that's Derek Butts. So then I went up this line, seeing if there was people stuck over there, and then more people stuck, and I get off the trail a little bit and hit that huge rock, rock with my foot, foot tall, and I just spun it. And then I made a curtain, and I just wanted to get up the hill and get my first lap done, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish. I was stuck in a whole bunch of trees. Bikes overheating. That guy's stuck over there. That's exactly what you just said in the video too. I don't even know what you're saying. But look at this, this guy knocks that tree right over. Yeah. Knocks it right down. Like, he's just looking, he's stuck at it, and all of a sudden knocks over, and he's just like, oh. Here we go, it's like speed over here. Covering the race. Yeah, this guy. Just watching everybody come by, and I was stuck for a little while. I don't know what I was saying there, I must have swore. Oh, I gotta go back now. Alright, so you're in that situation. Now I'm back over here working towards Elso's Glade. The upper part. We just came down this earlier and now we're going up to the top part of the glades. Yeah. I don't ever snowboard this, it's too steep. Oh, that's not good. 
<laughs> all right so we got that figured out anyways this is always too steep to snowboard down and we're just uh well, i'm just ripping up it and those guys throw me off and everything so i get off in the rocky's non-good rut stuff rocky non-good rut stuff oh. so i <laughs> fall down break 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 yeah Oh, you were talking about cutting up going behind yeah, where, you, right? Yeah, you went, yep. And it was actually legal to find out. Well, this guy's like, follow me, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, well, I can't do that. I, th I put my bike in reserve. It was like dying or something. Well, it turns out the fuel line, the fuel line popped off again. So it was spewing gas all over. Then I go down here and check things out. Well, I didn't, I was you confused. Can, you can go, wait. You, I, you can go that way up farther, is what it was. Down here, you're not supposed. I guess you could have maybe, but I don't know. I'm just. I just turn around real quick. I'm just like, eh, I don't want to. I don't want to risk that. Do it the right way. So I try going up the hill again. Get messed up on these roots at the bottom, and then it just was. You know, no, people are coming back down. I was. They're in the way. Yeah, good run at it. Yeah, I was almost there, and those roots threw me off, and I. Definitely was not getting up it now. So I gotta turn around. There's Dad over there. He didn't make it up either. Oh, here we go. Of course, I have to get another rock in my boot. <laughs> Every time I come to Greek Peak, this has to happen. It's really annoying. Then I give it another shot, and this shot should be the one that does it for me. I figured it out, you gotta just stay in the gas the whole entire time up it. So I get up it, and my voice sounds really weird with this backpack. Finally! This is it, let's go! So, I get up that hill. Now, cutting back over to Jeremy. And I just, I don't know, I just couldn't keep it under control. I started talking to this guy. I talked to him at the uh, AMA. He was telling me go up this road, and I was like, I don't know. It's kind of like not meant to be there. <laughs> he just took off. I didn't know where he was going. I was just not. You're just falling down. To the I'm just tired, hurt. I didn't know. Hey, you're thinking about going that way. I was. I was. I was thinking about it because I was just. It was hard. No, I can't. I go this way and then I go the other way. I connect back into this trail. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, baby, yeah! Finally got it. Now it's time for some. A class catch up. A class catch up. All right, get some A class catch up going. So, let's see what we can do out of these woods. This guy, trying to keep up with him, and he passes him, and I catch this guy's handguard. I hope he didn't fall over. And here we go, get another one. Just working on. Keeping him down. Oh, this is the funnest thing to do. I mean, I really, I, this is the funnest part of racing, is trying to keep up with these guys. Because when you actually do it for a while, you feel, it's a good feeling. Now, if I could just do this the whole entire race, be a little better. See, I can ride behind these guys, sort of. But I just, you mess up once or twice, and just that just throws you yeah. off, you know? So, anyways, I lose him. <laughs> now, I think we go back to you. We go back to Jeremy. Stupid hill. Then I kind of fucked. Then the stupid mini. I was going okay. I mean, they're not stupid. Oh, can't bleep that one out. 
Oh, you swear? Yep. Oh, where are you going? So, I, I, that video, like, I lost it. I'm not sure. Well, but, in the middle of that trail going up the hill, there's an arrow that points to the right. And you can go right down that road and go back under the ski lift and right up the hill you go. And, I mean, look at that right there. there nobody argued this because there was arrows obviously pointing to go to the right right there on that trail. So, we are not track cheaters, track mm -hmm. cutters, whatever you want to call us. Yeah. That's the way to go. So, I'm just following this guy. I think he's... He's not a B-class rider, he's a C-class rider, so nothing really too special, but I want to pass him, but I kind of don't, because he's kind of a little faster than me, but he's kind of a little slower than me, so I'm just kind of letting it be for now, but I really want to catch Justin, I'm just, so I'm very thankful to get by him, and then, oh, here we go, what's this? Oh, here, more A-class catch-up. This guy. 400-class rider. That would be 125-200A. That's our coal races. That guy's moving pretty quick. But he is still within sight for the most part. And I think up here I lose him. Yeah. Yeah, he's gone. So that's 32 seconds right there. That's not a record whatsoever. I mean, my my record right now for A class catch up is 42, 43, 43. That was it. Ithaca Dirt Riders. But oh, he stalled it. Yeah, I didn't. Sorry about that. I got a text message. So um, ah, turn your phone off. Anyways, so right here, a little sketchy coming over these whoops. It kind of. You know, an almost nosedive there. But anyway, so I'm alone out there. And over here, Jeremy's just going through traffic. Everywhere. So I just found everybody. Hey, what the heck was I supposed to say? He said, I'm trying. The guy was yelling at you, trying to pass you. Oh. Uh, I battled him. The guy I just passed you there. And then he gets stuck. Is that the same guy? Yes, that's the same guy. I was so angry. I was like, oh, wow. Well, listen to this guy's brakes. It's those double A guys. It's like a freight train coming out. I know. That's what it sounds like. Holy cow. So you're going through all that. Now I'm over here. This is where the race gets interesting. Coming. This ravine. I mean, there was like five five guys stuck here. It was not a problem. I mean, I went I went over it. It's like there's nothing there. I don't, I don't know. I literally look like it's just like a one foot ledge. I don't know why they're what they're doing. So I come up here and these guys are stuck. I'm just sitting here, and all of a sudden, Troy pops out of the woods. Like, what's going on? Why did he come out? So it was obviously an issue. More bottlenecks, of course. So we talk for a while and figure Don't this out. There. Dad. There's Dad. There. He was trying to go down the creek and get up there. That's not a good idea. So I just, like, I'm going to do this. And I kind of got stuck, but not really. So I keep going. Guys ramming into me. All sorts of bad stuff. I never even went up here. Yeah. I never even saw what it was like. So. Oh, this, this is. is like. Yeah, it was not fun. A lot of roots. There's dad. I'll come up here. I try to go up here and then I start falling backwards and my arm gets caught between the tree and the handlebars and that, like, crushes my elbow. And then I start falling backwards. Luckily, Ian was right there to catch my bike because. Whoa, my leg got caught underneath the bike, first of my all. Arm, my leg got caught. <laughs> and then he grabbed it, or else it would have just fell straight on top of me and probably killed me. But thank God he was there. So we talked for a while and tried to figure stuff out. He's helping people out. And me, Troy, me and Troy get an idea. I know Greek Peak by like the back of my hand, so I kind of figured out where we were and, and stuff. Here here's Jeremy. Jeremy. Find him. We. Talk for a little bit. We got to these guys, and they tell us. There's a way to, get, way to get around this, so we're figuring stuff out. And we get moving. Coming down around Arcadian Gate, crossing underneath Lift 5, and over back up Mars Hill, through the glades over here on Also's also Glade. Yep, Also's Glade. So this is going up these. This is such a fun hill to ride. I mean, it's always a blast. Get past that guy. It's like I'm all alone out here. There's nobody. Weird. 
Good downhills. More A-class catch up. This guy. So I try to keep through over the woods, or keep behind him through the woods. There we go. Where was that guy coming from? I don't know. I have people all over. And these ravines or these little dips just get me. These dips, I can't, I can't do them good. My suspension isn't. I mean, my suspension's good. I'm just so light. I mean, being so light is just not helpful. I don't get traction anyway. I just, right. Yeah. Right, here we go. Uh, 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 Almost. Whoa, that really was bad crash. Close. That could have been really bad. I'm starting to see people. Hello. Take this turn a little wide and actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to pass this guy and then I crash. Yeah, I felt kind of bad about that. Anyways, coming through my first lap at like 75 minutes, probably. Something really, really, really bad. They like yelled at you at the transponder if you didn't go. <laughs> fast enough. Also, you didn't go around the hill this time. No, you couldn't. Well, you, yeah, yeah, you really couldn't. They wouldn't let you? Nope. So I'm continuing on through my second lap here, and then Jeremy comes through and he... Yep. People eat Woen. I didn't care. And then, I forgot the GoPros on here. I just kind of dropped my helmet and... Boom! Oh, it popped off. And then... Oh, you... Missed a bleep there too. <laughs> and then Ian like picks it up and figures it out. Now what's going on here? Why did it stop recording? What the hell is wrong with my voice? I don't know. Well, I am also out in this stupid ravine. Ooh. Trying to getting stuck. I don't even know. I'm just getting stuck. This guy gives me a hand. And since the GoPro Hero 3 battery is not all that good really I kind of dies pretty soon but anyways come on past her here again there's Jesse my GoPro's all dirty and around this turn I kind of I didn't fall by like I don't, I don't even know what happened but coming down these woods by like front brakes so they must have been acting a little funny here cuz I, I had to turn up there <laughs> Troy just happens to be right behind me I don't Pretty funny. Like coming down here, I pick a really, really, really bad line. I mean, this low line was just stupid. On a side hill, all these trees in the way and logs. I mean, roots, roots and stuff. This guy's stuck. He's stuck in there. I'm also stuck. So I gotta like yank on my bike to get it out of here. So I'm just I'm just sitting for a little bit. Don't wanna. This is a bad spot. Everybody's going slow through there. Yeah, this, this lady comes over. Hey, put it in neutral. There we go. Thank you. Yep. Wearing flip flops at a motorcycle race. I finally pulled out. Big old mud spot forever. Holy cow. Yeah. And these are the last clips we get from Greek Peak this year. The AMA, or the Wainoa race this year. There we go. At Greek Peak. Yeah. And then it dies right there. But we did get some clips, and here they are. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Later, Gators.